All right, trap check. In the rain, again. It's like the Amazon forest rainy season here in West Virginia. I think it's rained every day for the, what, the last two weeks. But we've still been smashing the coyotes. We're in here on this property. We've done really, really well in here. I've about decided to pull a couple times and then we, we don't, we catch a dog, so we keep them. And I guess as long as we're catching dogs, we're gonna keep them in here because it's, it's generally not too difficult to check. Um, we've been running pretty much all drags. When the weather gets cruddy like this, we put them on drags to basically cut down on all the mud and the catch circles. So, pulling in here at this, we've done drove by about four sets. They were all, they were all empty. That's part of it. Let's see. Yep, got a trap missing. All right, so we've got a we've we've got a drag out. So of course this is going to be in the rain, so it may be pretty nasty. But we got a drag out right there. We have caught eight eight coats on this set in a little over a month same exact set so let's get out and find this dog and then we'll do the remake show you what we're doing on this all right so here's the set of course i had the chain buried here and the drag here and it has rained in the last two or three days we've got three or four inches of rain this is just uh the track job's pretty easy he didn't make it I don't know, 50 yards from the set. But normally, you would follow the drag, and of course, I can see the drag going through here. But so here we are. There's the set. I mean, it honestly. 30 yards maybe is how he made it, but. Saber tooth hung up right here. Full pad catch. Um, It's not a real big coat, but it's a pretty coat. Maybe the nicest one we've caught out of here. But anyway, again, this is the eighth coat we've caught out of the same set in a little over a month. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, dispatch this dog and then show you the remake. All right, we'll put this remake back in. This is our trusty, rusty dipper. We've probably got three or four inches of rain in the last two weeks. I found this bottle. I basically just cut the top off of it. And I've been using it to dip my, dip my trap bed out. We're going to start selling these. So hit us up if you'd like one. It's real good stuff. Trap bed, big time trapping dipper. See there, it works like a charm. I just leave that there. As soon as we catch another coyote here, I'll use it again. Now one thing I'll have you notice is my trap bed's still there, it's perfect. That dog gets popped, he carries the drag and the trap off. I come back, dip it out, it's ready to go. If we had a dog hooked up here, this whole place would be destroyed. There's a time and a place for that, but this place has, has been gold for us and I definitely don't want it messed up. So. how fast this trap goes back in when it, since your bed's already there. And that's it. 
That's what's nice about having that bed. It's almost like it's pre-cut. Make sure you saw, always salt those jaws good. Freeze all the weather. You don't want that thing freezing up. As far as my chain goes, I just knock a little bit of it in the ground. Those coats, they're not going to pay a whole lot of attention to that. Super dry peat. Got guys messaging saying their traps, their beds are freezing up. The super dry peat right there. Put it in there and work it down inside them jaws. <laughs> and then put some salt on there. Put you another layer in. I like to, some guys don't, I like to pack mine. Salt it as you go. And then one more handful of peat and we're done. Remember, always know where that pan is. It'll save you some headache. And that's it. Now, I don't know what this set's called. It's a, it's a somewhat of a triangle. There's triangle sets out there. There's compass sets. You poke a hole north, south, east, west. I'm not gonna get into what it's called because Folks out there get their underwear in the wad over who made what set and who invented it. I have no idea who made this. We picked it up over the years and it works. And I'm going to share it with you. Use it on your line. But by all means, no, we didn't invent it. I put three rocks in here. And I don't want little tiny rocks, but I don't want big giant boulders. I want rocks that that dog has to come in here and mess around in here that he can't just paw over on top of that trap but I don't want something so big it's going to deter an animal from wanting to come in here I like to put my rocks kind of tight together that way that dog if he's interested in this he has to come inside this or that cat or whatever to check it out I don't want a rock out here and out here and way out here and give them all kinds of room to work around in there so kind of put your rocks I mean these rocks are this close this one's kind of out here a little bit further but it leaves just enough room for that dog to get in here now, here's, here's what we've been doing with this. I take my driver, and right under that rock, and the hole's, the hole's actually still there, and lots of water, and this, this is gonna be a prime example as to why we use this set. I'm gonna show it to you. That's where our lure is going to go. And here's the trick. I could just take a knife or a stick and I could smear some lure in that hole, but you saw the water that came out of them. So what happens is, obviously a dog can still smell that. I'm not going to say they can't. But the better that, that hole is open, the better chance you're going to have of having that dog come in there and be able to sniff it out real quick. And here's what we do. You take these big giant Q-tips, you can get them at just about any trap and supply store, and I take three of them, and I cut the end off about, I don't know, maybe an inch. And so instead of taking your lure and, scr and cramming it in that hole and letting the water fill up on it, I'm going to show you how to protect it. Now, I'm using a coyote gland lure, 
they're starting to breed now here we've been using lots of coyote gland about a pea size and you drop that in that hole and then you take I take my long one you can get it on your hands if you want but I'd rather it be on the q-tip and push that right down in there and then I'm going to use some red fox gland I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to put that on that q-tip and rub it in good on that q-tip I'm going to drop it in that hole just like that and then I'm going to use a curiosity lure And again, you're going to smear it all, you want it all over that Q-tip. And you're going to drop it in this hole. There it goes. Now what that does for you, is it's, it's got that, the head of that tip up near the top of that hole. So when that water is real deep hole right there, when that water fills up in that hole, it's way down the bottom of the hole and your lure's still on the top of it. Works wonderful when it's wet out. I don't remember where we picked that up, read it somewhere in a book or saw it on a video or something, but man, it, it works absolutely great. Now one tip I will give you. I have found in the past that on sets like this, this is where you need to know what your lures do. You don't want a lure especially like a food lure that you're going to put in that hole that's going to trigger a dig response because what's going to happen is if that dog comes in here and he starts working that hole and he don't get caught immediately he's going to pull a pile of of debris and dirt back over on top of your trap and you don't want that so i usually use gland and a little bit of curiosity i don't care if he wants to poop on this if he wants to come over here and pee on it if he wants his nose in those holes smelling it I just want that dog inside this circle and I found in the past if you use stuff that makes him want to dig all this out it sometimes backfires on you I'll leave that up to you but I usually use gland and curiosity in these sets and it works great um, the only other thing I do I take some urine and I want my urine in here I don't want it out here, I want it inside. Again, I want that dog or that critter to have to be inside here checking this out. I kind of cheated. Before the video started, and I found some dry coal, shell. We're in coal country. There is none right here, I had to go find some. So I got some in my sifter before Before we did the video just because I'm that smart yeah right Leanne keeps me in line so then I just start I just I just lightly start sifting that in you see small rocks coming out you need to get those out of your bed and so I don't just sift directly over the trap a lot of times when that peat moss blows out it throws it everywhere so I'll come all the way out through here and sift it so it all looks the same and folks honestly that's all there is to it eight coyotes in two weeks well is it two weeks or a month anyway I can't remember we've caught eight coyotes here in this set and I can't remember if it's been two weeks or a month but it's dead on an intersection, it's a great location, and this little set, regardless of that rain, if you'll put them Q-tips to use, it really keeps the moisture from messing with your sets. Anyway, if you put this on your line, I think it'll help you. Good luck.